Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with our African mini zoo series. And uh, yes, well, we have a half finished raft out <laughs> that we are going to finish in this episode, which I'm very excited of, but I, I am thinking to change a little bit here. Like, the more I was looking at this, the more, like, especially this open space, I think. We're going to make this more narrow. I think we're maybe even going to add like uh, uh, like this this tree trunk right over here. We're going to add another two tree trunk right over there. And then maybe I'm even going to try and make it more dense, having the feeling that there are like leaves here. But I have no idea yet if I'm able to achieve that and how I'm going to do that. But I am going to try. One other thing that I realized was, I'm going to pause this for just a second, that I do not have any speakers for this tortoise right over here, which I think we should at least for like temporarily just make sure to put down. Uh, so we <laughs> like the guys will be educated. I mean, it would be really a pity if this would not be working at the moment. So I feel like if we just put this right over here, I'm not even going to sunk it into the ground because I'm definitely going to add this later on uh, or like maybe just a smaller educational sign or something like that. And uh, just to squeeze one in maybe here on the side just for now, as long as it has electricity, I am more than happy, but we really want these guests to be a, at least a little bit educated. Maybe we can add like this uh, animal talking point in, in like the middle section or anything like that. That could definitely work. We're going to move these two back into the training center. The now monitors uh, were in quarantine for just a bit. We have space issues, guys, like for real. Denny Yala right now has 457 square meters. So um, we definitely need to make sure that we do not get any more offspring in here and pay attention to when these animals grow up. I think I already gave them because I really did not want to forget. And uh, the same goes for our lovely derby bungo faces. Look at that little face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, they also, they almost have space issues. So how about the contraceptives? Okay, I did not give these guys contraceptives. So I'm just going to uh, make sure that they have. We do not, oh gosh, we have four derby baby bungo phases. So regarding space, I think this habitat is quite all right. But yeah, the warthogs. Uh, definitely also should not get any more offspring. I think we already covered the contraceptives for them. Yes, they all have contraceptives. Um, yeah, we definitely need to pay attention to this. But hey, this was the challenge that we were up for, like the mini zoo challenge. So I think this is going to be all right. I want to move the research center or you know what? We have quite some money here. I feel like I'm just going to move a research center in this corner here as well because of the fact that the research of all the exhibits and especially also when we're going to add more exhibits in the future. Let's just put you right over here. I think you're not going to stay. So I think we are good to just add you temporarily for now. We're going to add a work zone and we're going to add this into the every, yeah, I think we're just going to do it in the everything work ross because the vets are not selected in any other work ross. We have two vets and we have research going on here. Oh, look at that. Ooh, the Goliath frog is already over halfway. <laughs> so we are going to make sure that their hammers had, uh, that should be right over here is already going to be a little bit upgraded. So that will be this one. We can add some plants and the uh, the logs. So this already looks a lot better and this animal is definitely more happy about that. Oh, we can actually also add some large rock piles, but yeah, we only have two vets. We should now have, where can we see that again? 
Is that work zone staff room? No, these are just. Oh well, now we are added. Uh, let's add the social club in the other two. So we should be able to see all our staff buildings right over here. We have three research centers. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, okay. Then definitely the other one is not going to stay. But we at least we have enough to do all the research that we want to do. Do we already have? A pregnant Aldebra dying tortoise. I don't think so. Uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see some little babies in here. And as soon as they have some babies, we are going to give some contraceptives because that's definitely needed. All oh, right. It's not. <laughs> it's not closed here just yet. So there's a lot of rain pouring out of the roof. These poor little guests. Uh, no one is actually eating. Or drinking here which is not bad like we are going to fill this up very soon during this episode so I'm not going to be super bothered about that just yet so let's have a quick look at all our animals before we start to finish the reptile house so we have some lovely penguins right over here uh, wait oh oh you're an elderly but does that mean you are still fertile and able to get some offspring so if we check the african penguin 14 years most likely and how old do you get 27 oh so that does mean that we need to make sure that like there is like maybe one partner for one of the babies that is about to grow up I mean, well, actually, we can just make sure that there are two, like, like obviously, there, it's not all family of each other, so I think, <laughs> look at this one. Oh, you're so adorable. Wait, what? Who? Oh, ostrich. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, we're going to chunk the ostrich in just a bit. So we're going to go and check out the, oh, we have some more research. Perfect. Thank you. You are doing such a great job. So if we just select only the African penguins in here. So these are adults. So every now check because these two is Babusi and is this Babu? Oh, this is Babusi. So if we just check, you do not have any contraceptives. Apply or remove. Oh, do we have another Babusi? Oh, we do. <laughs> Okay, wait, <laughs> let's select the right Babusi and then compare Maze. Wait, who is your partner? Vimbai something, Vimbai Nashi. You are in fertile. Is there another one that is called the same, just to be sure? Okay, so Vimbai N I don't even know how to pronounce that. We can check you. That is you. And then we are going to check your genetics. No, wait. Right over here. You do not have any contraceptives, so you are infertile. Okay, so let's go back right over here, and then we're going to give all of them contraceptives. I'm going to check the maturity again. And now I just want to see Delma, for example. Delma and Matsi <laughs> Matsumela or something. So if we compare maize with Delma and Matsimela. Oh, okay. That would be inbreeding. So that is not what we want. Can we already check anyone? Okay, that's offspring, offspring, offspring. You all got offspring. I think that's the issue. Oh, that's right. Because we only had... Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's right. So we because we only had two, like one female and one male breeding the whole time, they are all family of each other. So we do need to make sure that we got another african penguin yeah so let's just go for this male adopt you and what are you called nakaka you are not going to get contraceptives and delma the age is quite perfect this should all work to not get too much offspring back in this habitat now regarding space we do have a little well it's <laughs> It's just about enough. So I feel like maybe we can just select two African penguins. And you know what? Let's go for four. Rehome these four. And then space should be enough. 
and we are able to get some more offspring in with a new couple. Yes, okay, I think this is the way to go for. Let's have a quick look right over here at this lovely lemur house. So we are going to... Hmm, wait a second, there are two adults in here. Do they not have any, like, fighting issues or anything like that? I am not entirely sure. I'm, I'm going to put this one up for adoption. And then I'm going to check Kiyadi and Nandr Nandrina. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. They're still able to get offspring, which is good. Yeah, I, I do not think that we will have any issues very soon with these lemurs and is the, like the fencing i think the fencing looks good i don't really see any issues like their breeding is not going super fast in this habitat so i'm actually quite happy with that i think that's all going really well man i'm just so happy with this habitat it's so awesome Right, okay, let's go quickly to some meerkats. I think we just checked the meerkats and I think everything is going pretty well. If we just select one of the adults, like Talente, for example, like this space is still definitely not an issue and they're so tiny. So whenever they got some offspring, it, it's not really going up their requirements. So I think we should all be good. Oh, the brother of lemurs. Oh, look at you. Aww. Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> so, and it worked. So that's a good thing. So if we just check this habitat real quick, now we're at it. Um, we have one male. Okay, yeah, I think we also did check this habitat already the last time that we were here in the previous episode. And yeah, I think everything will be... Well, I don't think any issues will be caused in this habitat. We have quite some space, we have enough climbing frames, so I think these lemurs are not going to complain. And we did not have any more escaping lemurs, so I think just adding that little bit of, of elephant grass underneath here definitely did work. Our fences are looking good, our guests are enjoying the habitat from here and not, well, some are from here which is a little bit odd still but at least we have some gas right over here we should actually replace the curbs just or like the barriers underneath the ground or the path a little tiny bit to make sure that this guest is not going to step onto these rocks here let's have a quick look at our beautiful lions because were the wasn't the female lion oh oh yeah <laughs> we already have i, I think it were two Two cups in here, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so we have a little male and a little female in here. I, I think this is, they're not going to cause any issues here. We do need to make, no, actually, I think the lions are able to get offspring until they pass away from old age, 15 years. Yes, so we don't have to worry about the lions becoming an elderly or something like that. We can just let this run and then when they get close to like, <gasps> look how awesome. When they get close to like the, the older age, then we just make sure that we will keep one cup and then continue, uh, hopefully, to get more offspring with their offspring. That would be just amazing. Look at you, how beautiful. Man, I'm so happy that these rocks are working how I want them to work. It's sad that the gas are not standing here, but it is what it is, I guess. It's um, it's gonna be all right. All right, let's have one look right over here. The Fennec Fox, well, actually, the Fennec Fox is doing all right. They have like the biggest amount of space. So it, like comparing to their size, that is. So they are definitely not going to cause us any issues. And, and like, we have so much space here as well in the back. Oh, look, they're inside here. Oh, that's so adorable. Not really sure where the rest is, but I think the Fennec Fox is the least to worry about. 
in this case. And also we did check the African savanna. I don't think we are getting too many issues here. Just yet, at least, the space is good. And also for the giraffes, it's good. Oh man, just look at these guys. Oh look, oh gosh, I hope you didn't hurt your head. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> what else is so sad? <laughs> You're just a silly little baby giraffe. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? Okay, let's have a quick look. Vet research complete. So that is going pretty fast. Oh, the Goliath frog is actually completely done. That means that we can't... Wait, do we need to? Yes, we have the uh, sacred scarab beetle. And the other one was already researched, so Carlton Dean, you can go and research that beetle. And then, uh, like, we still have a few more exhibit spots empty, so these are filled. There are three more here in the backside that need to be filled. I'm still not entirely sure if I'm going to add African animals or maybe a few different ones, just because of the fact that uh, we, we use all the African exhibit animals now. Um, I'm not sure. We shall wait and see. I think without further talking, let's just go and jump into this reptile house and finish it to make something awesome out of it.
All right, this took a lot of time, honestly, a lot longer than I thought, but I really do hope the end result is worth it and you guys will uh, like this Rapsa house. And as always, I will make sure to put this one up in the workshop if you want to download it, but then you will need to add like your own fencing and stuff. So do keep that in mind. It will not be like just to plop down and then usable uh, oh yes we have uh, well okay let's go back to uh, these animal talking points in the later stage i have two of them one for the uh, tortoise and one for the now monitor so i did change the path and i'm not like 100 percent sure about this just yet i wanted to make sure that this is more uh, dense and like more closed off like i've been to a few zoos in the past few months and you have like pretty thematic areas like this and uh, the black path i liked it but i'm not sure this path might be just a little bit better i don't know let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about that um, okay but you have seen this area i did change a bit of the trees and stuff because there were just too many olive trees like even though the olive trees don't really match too much in this area in my opinion they're just small and they are just easy to use. So that's why, yeah, especially for this smaller area, they just uh, work very well. So, okay, we have more like uh, trees here in the middle to make it all more dense again. And then hopefully, yes, this guy is walking around the tree, which is just perfect. And uh, I think this definitely looks a lot better than what it was like there is a little bit of open space at the now monitor area later on but uh yeah i think it works with the little tweaks that we did so now here the now monitor habitat so we have a viewing like there are viewing galleries all around the habitat so this is a blood pumpkin so the now monitor is able to uh eat here and if we then go to the right side, which is probably my most favorite part of this reptile house like this. Is it raining? Oh, it's not. I thought like maybe it, it feels a little bit uh, foggy or something like that. So yeah, we have like this, this wooden platform where the guests can stand and look into. I love the logs here and like the combination with the small little rocks and stuff. I think this looks really cool to have this more sunken into the ground. Oh, I totally forgot to show. There is like this, uh, you know, when you go to, to a reptile house or, or like a zoo and you see like this, this reptile house, you have like these uh, uh, lights and there's like heat coming out of it. So there's a heater underneath there because obviously these lights do not work. With a big thank you to Eben for telling me what kind of pieces to use <laughs> for this because I really had no idea. And uh, I, I was pretty sure that he would know. <laughs> so thank you so much. For that even really do appreciate it but obviously this is all pretty closed off and stuff so i'm not really sure if the now monitor will ever go and lay down here but for the idea it's definitely really cool to have a little peek into this area and also the lighting here from this uh, glass roof just works super well so right over here, we have some exhibits in the same style. These are exhibits of different areas. So the, we have the Danube Crested Newt. We have the Yellow Anaconda and the Fire Salamander. And that was basically because I was like, yeah, it's either like the same type of animals that we already have on the other side, or let's just go for something that we don't have yet. So I thought like the, the Salamander the, uh, uh, the, 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 what was it? <laughs> Yellow Anaconda and the Danube Crested Nude are all animals that are completely different from the others that we have. So that was basically the reason and also because they have like this more tropical vibe to them. So uh, I, I love these, these peaks here. You can do really cool stuff with these trunks and, and these branches and stuff with exhibits. Highly recommend it. It's really a lot of fun absolutely love it and just like the other side we have like these uh, there are speakers in the floor of course and then there is like this, this small exhibit sign hidden away so there are information that i'm assuming that the guests can see them even though you hide them 
And like always, there are like tons of donation boxes and bins all the way around here, uh, uh, hidden away. So here we have a viewing gallery, which is more closed off. And the reason for that is always also because we have the restaurant right over here. So it's a little bit more spacious here. Also, there is like this animal talking point right over there. And uh, here is like this, this just simple feeding plate, a little bit hidden so you don't notice it that much. And uh, I think this just looks really, really cool to be honest. And uh, I actually forgot to mention it, but like the inside of this reptile house is definitely a bit inspired of uh, Brookfield Zoo. Like uh, they have a reptile house called the Swamp. So they, they have something a little bit like this that is for, for some type of, of crocodile or alligator. So that is definitely where I got my inspiration off for decorating the inside. For the outside, there is also like a, a reptile house, but I have no idea what zoo that is from. It's not saying it from the picture and I couldn't find it afterwards. So yeah, I'm sorry for that, but hopefully someone recognizes it and uh, can't tell us in the comments down below. But this is, I think, a really cool way to to have a, a reptile house with like the now monitor and stuff in here. Uh, and like still for me, Nizu, like I will show you guys the size of this habitat in a bit. It's, uh, it's tiny. It's definitely tiny. We are going to get really big issues when there is going to be some offspring. But here we have some, some seizing areas for, of course, the shops that we have right over there in the corner. And then we have another viewing gallery right over here in the now monitor habitat. We have some toilets on this side. This is the staff path doorway, which I did not do anything of just yet. I might just like build the, uh, the big... Uh, the staff building that we have on that side somewhere here in the back as well and just connected like that I think that might not even be a super bad idea and then the guests can go and walk around here and this was definitely also a struggle like I had waterfalls here water jets and I kept changing it I had only like rocks and roots and then I added like these uh these green panels and man it was such a struggle to get something here and that was not similar to the other side, but I, I think this is what we are going <laughs> for. But the most important thing is, of course, the underwater viewing gallery that we have right over here. I am still a little bit confused why the now monitor is not able to deep dive. Like, I think, and I feel like this is the only animal that they forgot to give deep diving animation. So, uh, I wonder what the reason for that is. I really do not dare to say, but yeah, they cannot really deep dive, but they have like this nice underwater viewing gallery. And this is pretty much like, as you can see here from this staff member, uh, pretty much like shoulder level. And then the, at least the grown ups can still see them like floating and swimming on the surface. So I think this just works perfectly fine. And it's just so cool again with this, uh, glass dome roof right over here so uh yeah and then you go back here to the algebra dying tortoise on this side and uh, yeah as i said like there are donation boxes and bins hidden like away everywhere now okay let me just show you if you want to have an i'm honored <laughs> like a male and a female in a franchise zoo yeah, you need to pay attention to the amount of space that they have, especially because they got 10 <laughs> babies, or they can get 10 babies. We have the male right over here. Is that a female? It's not pregnant just yet. <laughs> so normally for one male, one female, and 10 offspring, if they got that, you would need 450 square meters of land and 189 square meters of water. As you can tell, we are far below that. So I just went for, you know, like, we're going to get some offspring in here. I want that. I, I want some offspring, but it might be that we need to, like, put all the babies inside of our training center, or, like most of the babies, to just make sure that there's enough space here. But I'll just wait and see how this will go i guess <laughs> just uh, yeah let, let's let's see how much challenge 
these now monitors will give us. I, I do like the idea, to, uh, actually, to have a little bit more challenge with the now monitors once they will uh, get some babies in here. So yeah, we, we definitely need to keep an eye on those. We, oh, we have some uh, exhibits breeding already. That's actually a good thing because then we can set up for money, even though our money is not really an issue. We are still doing a lot of research. Oh, the giant tiger land snail is actually finished. This one is almost finished. Active disease. Oh, we already... Oh, there is an active disease. All right, but we already researched that. So that's not going to be a big deal. We're going to... Yeah, so let's just go for the Danube Crested Nude. And since we do have quite some money, I just feel like I want to train all our staff in here. So let's go and connect all these. I'm going to pause this for just a little bit. Uh, there should be an animal talking point hidden away right over here. So you can only see the little speakers coming out of uh, out of the rocks right over here. So we have the now monitor. I do not have any of these animal talking points in a work roster just yet. I think so. We're just going to select everything in here. And all the educators are in the Everything Work Russ. Oh, we only have one educator? Oh, you're super busy? Well, I can imagine. I think that we're just going to hire two more educators. I mean, these educators are going to walk around anyway. So I think that's definitely not going to be any issue. So we're just going to select this at Everything. And then we're going to go to the educate. Wait, do we first want to check if I did select the, uh, oh, the rat giant tortoise at the other animal talking point? Oh, I already did. So this is all selected. The only thing that we need to do is make sure that the timetables match. Um, I actually did do have three of them. Okay, we can change this a little tiny bit. So January, and then we have March, and then from March, we skip one month, go to May, and then from May, we go to July, and then from July, we go to September, something like that, even though like, nothing is overlapping. I think it's going to be fine with the three educators that we have at this point, so that this will all be running perfectly, and then like if they're not doing anything, they can obviously educate the guests when they are walking around so i think that's actually just working really really well i think we should wrap this episode up right over here but yeah definitely stay tuned for the next episode and do let me know of course what you all think of this completely finished reptile house in our African mini zoo. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys!